in this video I'm going to share some basic knowledge about uh, event filter in Qt framework. Suppose we are already familiar with uh, uh, event handling in Qt framework, such as um, re-implementation of event and specific event handling with uh, the event names. Mm. Here make some example like a mouse press event, timer event. And we talk that the event has more control when the queue event is before it's being handled. This queue event basically is like in object field. This queue object is mean real queue object. It can be queue widget uh, instance. And this queue event has more control before the event really handled by this specific event, mouse, timer, event. When it returned to true, here didn't come go. True means this is being handled here. But we are more interesting that interested that before this object receive this event. So maybe let's say this object here, I'm going to clear here. We have an um, object here. Let's directly call it Q object. It can be a, let's say, Q widget, Q push button. This can, let's say, this is, this is a button. And we have this Q event. Before this Q object receive this event, we can put here a filter. We can put here a filter. And this is called event filter. This event filter can be dynamically installed here and removed here and replaced by another uh, filter, let's say here, let's say filter one, filter two. So any filter can be put here and tell the Q object which event you will never receive because the filter will remove that part or handle that part, ignore or uh, the event filter is can handle the different events like the event function in the uh, queue object. So, which means that this kind of event, we can reuse them in different kind of uh, block code. So, how to um, install the event? So, every object has a function called um, install event filter and this here is the filter object so we first we have for example let's call it um, my filter we have uh, my uh, filter called my filter and in this my filter object, we will implement a function called event filter and handle different events here. And we just need to install this my this filter. So this object will install this filter and will based on the functions here this object will receive or unreceive not receive specific events and when for example users come to another window or in another situation that the object want to receive that event again then we can remove remove this event filter or can be directly 
um, install another event field to recover. Let's call another a another filter. This is just example, and this is a concept that a filter can be reused and it's more flexible and uh, when you have let's say thousands q widget buttons or objects different kind of things and you want to they uh, have different behaviors and you have let's say you have a filter package you define different kind of filters and you can always install and remove different filters so different uh, ob object can have different behavior and field different events and it's easier for you to handle your code and more clear and for teamwork it's also very efficient and let's see some uh, example code to understand what's what's going on here Widget, 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 widget. We are, we are, we are, we are, we are going to to only in this example. I'm going to show that when I click the left and right mouse button, they're supposed to uh, display some message. First, we are going to handle this event. Let's say in this widget, we are going to handle the event. E event. Add up mouse event. Mouse event. <coughs> I want to display some message here. We are going to re implement the event. button press type and in this case we are first we have to cast the event to two mouse event uh, let's call it M E and is cast and mouse event cast we have this and we are going to decide which button is being pressed with a cute admin uh, left button like my another video I, I use this kind of simple example to demonstrate how it works simply display the message let's call it a uh, handle let's just say in event in widget left click here is basically some message to tell the difference between left and right and where this is being handled okay here And here, else if button is cute, I'm going to copy it here. To here, and here is right button.
other mouse click, we are not going to handle it. So we are going to return the base class is method. left click, right click, both works. And we are going to add a filter to filter this and this. Let's create first, create a filter. Basically, we can use uh, filters here. Let's say we can create right directly here. Event. But my suggestion is um, always write your filter in a specific class. That class used for doing filter thing and other functions and can be reused, moved, modified easily without uh, breaking the main widget window or any other thing. Let's call it left click. Is left click filter uh, here, and we are going to use a fit implement a similar function but in the filter. So this basically this is a class, but we use it for filter function, and we. Override this, sorry. Event filter. This is what we override. Filter here. We have this and the type, you know, it's mouse press. We have to make sure it's mouse press, else we are going to return false. And here, 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 it will be. I just want to know this type is mouse press, yes. And it has to event left button filter, which means we are going to handle the left button click here and return true, which means after the widget install our filter, this left button click will be only handled here, not being passed to the widget anymore. And if not, return false. Yeah. Okay. And we have our filter. go here we are going to create new left click field and specify to 
this parent is this widget and we have this widget has this object and has a field function and we are going to call this and going to install this field so this q this widget our widget has this um filter which fill filters this left button and we are going to say in event filter in left click filter i hope it's clear let's imagine that the filter is on the top and then our widget object is downside and the filter de decide if this left button click ended here or not and not pass to return true not pass to the widget so the widget can only do this basically this one is not going to do because he will never receive this event this event left left button press event will never received by the widget because of this because of this here and install and let's see how it looks like three two one wait is it running okay so left filter okay right click in widget left filter <coughs> as mentioned before that we can also um i just want to demo most functions and remove event filter so we install remove which me makes this uh widget has no filter installed and we'll do the same as before so how it looks like da, da, da. see left right left right okay that's a very simple demonstration of how to make a filter and interesting part is that you can realize small functions in the filter such as signals and when you want to emit the signal and connect in the object uh, for example here you can connect connect something with the signals from your filter and when the filter get some event and it can uh, emit in the filter specific functions and there's more functions you can realize but the very important is that you have to understand which is exactly the concept behind this filter event filter things with the event and the sub event handling and thanks for watching